Come on, come on, come on. Crush the head in. Good. Kill the bitch. Kill the bitch. Yeah, good. Kill the bitch. Okay. Kill the bitch. <laughs> Kill the bitch. Oh, <laughs> nice. Oh, that was deadly. She looks ugly as fuck. What is D-Crack and welcome back to another video. In this video I'll be playing The Walking Dead, the Telltale game. Uh, I'm playing this as part of my uh, Zombie Saturday series, so let's get into it. I have no idea how to standard yet. I don't know if there's gonna be like a fucking cinematic or some shit here. This is why I'm leaving all this in. So let's see, hopefully this loading screen isn't a year and a half. No it's not, grand. This game series adapts to the choices you make, the story is tailored to how you play. Okay, cool. It's good to know. Telltale Games. In association with Skybound Entertainment. The Walking Dead. Nice. So I'll be playing this for about half an hour, maybe 40 minutes. This looks fucking beautiful already. Shit. I never played it because I'm not into the whole episodic type of thing. But since I've played, um, what's it called? Uh, Life is Strange. I'm kind of, it's kind of changed my perspective on it a bit. They're kind of some of my favorite games now. Because Life is Strange is fucking amazing. And the mic might be a little bit too close to my face. I'm just moving it a small bit away there. Sorry about that. So hopefully you can hear me and the game okay. It's my first time recording this, so I don't really know well, if I should have lowered it down or not. Do so hopefully. Uh oh shit, okay. I have time as well. Um Does it really matter? Oh no, I click <laughs> shit, I clicked the wrong one. No, definitely not. No, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the I didn't do it. Uh, and what do you say? I say yep, I know you didn't. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna move the mic a small there we go, that should be okay. To look around. Aim for the rear mirror. What? Huh? I am. Here's the mirror. Uh, is there anything special I'm meant to be doing? Oh, that type of... Okay, I'm blind as shit. Or dopey as shit. One or the I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. Uh, so what? Something you options. You an opinion then? Wouldn't say that. I go in for that innocent till proven guilty thing. Even considering who they say you killed. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Yeah. You said sure. yeah. Okay, there we go. Are you going to tell Regardless. me? Or? Could be you just married the wrong woman. I, uh, or she married the wrong guy. <sighs> I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fellow. The big fuck? soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're all sitting. Are for then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. <laughs> it wasn't me. Maybe he was innocent. Maybe he was innocent. Innocent? They caught the fucker red-handed. Stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. Ugh. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed in himself. That's rotten. It goes to show. 
people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious. If oh I fuck, watch out! This other time. That was loud as all fuck. I hope it wasn't that loud for you. This is fucking killing my ears. Okay, finally the buzzing calmed down a bit. Shit, I'm gonna have to get used to this one, two, three, four type shit fast. Is he getting eaten? Wake the fuck up, mate, will you? Do I have to press buttons or some shit like? No, I don't. Okay, this is a cinematic. I hope I don't have to press buttons if I do. My guy's dead. Oh, shit. Fuck, man. Thirsty. Ah, fuck. My leg. His leg is all fucked up. Ugh. Use the mouse. Oh, the hell did he have his gun out? Maybe it was tossed from the car during the wreck. Look at the cop. Hey! Hey, officer! Are you alright? I'm still cuffed back here! Officer? Oh, that doesn't look good. He wasn't ejected from the car. He's not moving. He must have the handcuff keys on him. Must have the handcuff keys on him. Okay. Look around the car for a way out. I like this. This is really cool. If life is strange is like this. I need to drag myself out that window. I need to drag myself out that window. Wait, what? Now use the mouse wheel, number one or two options. Climb out, obviously. This is gonna get so confusing in the future. Oh, fuck. His leg is broken to be shit. Grab that shotgun, me. Don't be a dope. Me. The officer's shotgun is over there. Why would he have needed that? How do I? Oh, take it, yeah. Good man yourself. It's empty. Are you serious? It's easier to carry with these cuffs off. There's a shotgun shell right there. I didn't actually think you'd get you got to play the game. I thought it was all Officer? like story based. God damn. Officer? Okay. Shit. Oh, you're gonna get bit. <gasps> Come on. Come on. Oh, Jesus! Holy what shit. in the fuck? What in the hell? What? Okay, he's dead anyway. Is that meant to happen? Is that honestly like I fucked up and game over already? Game's like frozen on the screen. 
I'm gonna guess I broke it. I'll be back once I get it fixed. Back on. Okay, I'm back. It put me back here, but I had to exit the game and rejoin it back in. So what the fuck did I do wrong? Holy shit! Okay, press S to go back. Okay. Get away from me! Pick that up. Pick up the shotgun. Pick up the shotgun. Oh my god, mate, you are fucking done. Pick it up. At least he give you 14 weeks. Don't make me do this. Come on. Get, get fucked, mate. He's dead as shit. There we go. That's how you fuck up a zombie. I'll keep the shotgun. Looking at the cops, the only thing I can do. Are you dead? Hey! Who the fuck's that? Are you dead? Who the fuck are you? Help! Go get someone! There, there's been a shooting! Who the fuck was that little creepy bitch? Oh, hell no. <laughs> Get up and run. Oh my god, this chap's retarded. Get up and fucking run, me. Oh my god. Only thing that's saving this chap now is if he climbs a fucking tree. Or, or a fence. On me. Climb it, mate. Climb it. Oh, he barely got over that shit. Fucking hell. Okay. Yeah, they're gonna get shot eventually, mate. Okay, grand. Someone else shot and distracted him for us. I might, I might continue playing this. It looks very interesting. See, climb, climb up into the treehouse, your grand. Why is it so far zoomed out? Okay, there we go. We robbing the house. Hello, anybody home? I need a little help. Go on, mate. There you go. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? And you have to go through a load screen because you went into the house. Oh shit, this looks amazing. Look at this Hello. cinematic. I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. Oh. These people might need more help than I do. This is where the little girl lives that was on top of the cliff. I guess. It's blood. Oh, this. Seriously, man. He falls over everything. Now he's covered in fucking blood. I'd take whatever that is. This place has been ransacked. Just about anything worthwhile is gone. Walkie talkie. Take that shit. Yeah, see, he knows what's up. Good man yourself. 
Don't know what they are. What's that beeping? It's the, uh, the phone, I'm gonna guess. Toilet paper. Who the fuck has toilet paper in their kitchen? Nothing. There's food there, mate. I'd be cruising here for a day or two. There are three new messages. <sighs> there you go, mate. Get a bit of water into you. Dehydrate. If he slips back on this blood, though, I swear to God. Okay. There we go. It's a bitch to go down Three one wheel. Message one, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message 2, left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. That's sad as fuck. I'm not a monster. Are you okay? Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me, but I'm hiding until my parents come home. What's your name? Where are your parents? Eh, hey, what's your name? What's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. Where are your parents? How old are you? Okay. Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. <laughs> where are your parents? Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. And I think it froze. <laughs> no, it didn't. Okay. Cute. It doesn't give you enough time. Yeah. The game gave gave me a fucking one second time of okay. Q. E. Oh my god, this dumb motherfucker! I swear to fuck. Oh my god. This chap falls every fucking two seconds. Give me the hammer, give me the hammer. Crush the head in. Good. Kill the bitch. Kill the bitch. Yeah, good. Kill the bitch. Fucking kill the bitch. <laughs> <laughs> nice. 
Oh, that was deadly. She looks ugly as fuck. Oh, that was beast. That was fucking beast. Man. I feel the same way he does. Hi there. Like shit. <laughs> did you kill it? Yep. Yes, I did. I don't know. I think so. I don't know. I think so. Sometimes they come back. Have you killed one? No, but they get shot a lot. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Look for help before it gets dark. Yeah, get out here at once. The sun's going down. Okay, look for help. We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. Okay. One thing, why did he have to open the door if the door was already open? girl close the door just in case in future if you ever come back there isn't zombies all over the place I like the way you can actually walk around and do what you kind of want I didn't think you could do that I thought it was all this option based kind of I didn't think you could walk around and explore and like learn shit okay there's two guys here trying to rob a car oh, man I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate <laughs> this sucks. Come on, it's hot dish night. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? Eh, uh, I won't leave you alone. I won't leave you alone. Let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, we're looking for we help. need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. <laughs> I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Her babysitter and neighbor. A neighbor. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. Okay. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Oh, shit. Leave quick. Let's go. What buttons do I have to press? You think Chet or whatever's face would help? I have a busted up leg and I'm pushing it better than he did. See, even Clementine's helping and that lazy fuck isn't. Three of those guys, neighbors too. Pretty sure he said that pun because I said we were neighbors. I don't think he likes the fact that, like, she isn't my daughter. Thinks I'm kind of like a weirdo, like pedophile or some shit. I've honestly no idea how long I've been recording for. Might end it after this cinematic, depending on what it 
puts me into like if it puts me in the farm or if it puts me up against like a zombie fight or something. Nice. Also, I I watched the first like two or three seasons of Walking Dead and I gave up on it. So if this is the same, it's gonna be like I'll, some of it I won't know. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. You too. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chad. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. Hmm. You've brought a couple guests. Hey, uh, your boy is a lifesaver. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He was her neighbor. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, <laughs> looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Okay, grand. So I'm guessing he's like the doctor in the series. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Hey, it hurts like hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Yeah, Herschel, yeah. How'd this happen? Car accident. Car accident. That's so. Where were you headed before the car accident? Home just out, out of... Uh, out of some place. getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? A police officer. I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad, so I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. A man got run over. A dead cop crawled on the ground. I saw a cop come back from the dead. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Grant. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? Cut it off. Probably just have to shoot you. <laughs> we'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. <laughs> okay, that'd be preferable. <laughs> There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. Okay, Grant. I would not be sleeping on the ground. I'd be sleeping up on the top it with other people. Like manure. Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? <laughs> Just like that. I miss my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. 
How far is Savannah? Very far. Very far. Oh, okay. Okay, grand. Bet you we're gonna wake up to zombies fucking eating people. Or the barn. The fuck? <laughs> the fuck? Was his wife killed by a zombie? Okay, looks like we're gonna have to find out in the next episode. Yeah, okay, that was the perfect time to end hey, that. Okay, maybe up. not, because there's another fucking cutscene. <sighs> Ugh, itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? <laughs> I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. <laughs> we better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Doc? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. <laughs> <laughs> but he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is, you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure thing. Sure, we'll tag along. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. Hey, I can Grant. keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Okay, so now I'm able to play. I'm going to leave this episode here. Sorry if it's too short. I honestly have no idea how long it's been. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this episode of Zombie Saturday or The Walking Dead. You have such pretty hair. No it fuck. gets lots of tangles. <laughs> I'll be most likely playing this again because this is actually pretty interesting. But anyway, <clears throat> thank you so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, click the like button below and subscribe if you want to see videos similar to this one. Thank you so much for watching this episode and hope to see you in another one real soon. Bye.